Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I have a new product, a new product line in this channel. It is called the EcoFlow River 2. And today I'm going to be doing an unbox for all of you today. I'm super excited to open this up because it is my first portable power station that can run off of solar, that can run off of DC. I've used to have the power banks. If you haven't seen the video for my Mophie power bank, check that out up top here. But let's go ahead and check out this box. This is the EcoFlow River 2. Now this is EcoFlow's the entry level power station for what they have to offer. They have the Deltas, they have the Pro 2 Max, they have the Pro 2 Pro. This here is it's just simple if you're going camping if you're going out and about places if you're just charging your phone here and there uh, if you are just using very basic devices small appliances this is going to be right for you in the side of the box here it's a nice setup nice way to put it it's faster than ever for charging it has the lithium phosphate battery and it's seven pounds. This thing is super light and you don't even have to worry about how heavy it is. As you can see here, it has the LED lights up on the screen. You have also a AC outlet, two AC outlets, two USB-A, one USB-C, which can be reversible for charging in and outgoing. And you also have a DC outlet as well. You get a nice box design, styrofoam cover here, but this is what it comes with. So you get a booklet that's a quick start guide on how everything works. We're actually going to look into this later on. But here is the product itself. Looks just like that. It's not heavy, seven pounds worth. And in the box, you get two adapters. You have the AC adapter to charge. And you also have a car DC to an XT60. This is the solar charger that goes into the back of the portable power station. And that's it. the rest inside of the box. This is what you get. You get the power station. You get the DC to XT60. You also get the AC charger. And you get the EcoFlow River 2 portable power station guide here. Now for this device, as you can see here, really, really handy. And if you turn this on, it lights up. You get how many hours you can use the device for on this side. You also get the charging indicator, how much battery percentage you have, along with input and output as well. The cool thing that I noticed, because I played around with a little bit, is that it has Bluetooth and it has Wi-Fi capabilities. And so what that means is you can actually remotely check out your power station wherever you are. If I'm going to be out on a vacation and I go into my EcoFlow app, it's really cool because you can see the output and input charges. And if you're using solar, you can see what the solar input is through this device. To turn it on, for AC, you have to press this button right here and it will light up and it'll tell you that it's ready for AC power usage. Turn that off. It will have a DC as well and that means it's ready to rock and roll. I won't go into the technical details of DC and AC outputs or USB-A, USB-C, but we will talk about that in the manual. On the back here, it gives us a nice outlay of what this device is. 
So you have one, you have the XT60 port, you have the AC port there, and it gives you all the caution warnings here for the device. So it tells you how much you can use uh, for your AC, your DC, your input and outputs here. Now you're probably wondering, is this device good? Well, it all depends on your level of good for a power station. If you're looking for the EcoFlow River 2 to power a freezer, a refrigerator, an air conditioning unit, well, you are out of luck because this device here covers small appliances. And what I mean like small appliances is that this device can power up to 600 watts, up to 600 watts. 300 watts is the um, minimum efficiency standard for this, but up to 600 watts. But inside the manual for the EcoFlow River 2, you can see lots of different things that you can, can get started on. One is you can get started on downloading the EcoFlow app. They have a really good warranty on it and you can see lots of different things within the app. It tells you what the Get Started Guide is here for each of the buttons. It tells you what all this is, how to charge it. So it tells you for one, you can charge it using the USB-C at 60 watt max. You can charge it using the AC unit, AC cord, which is 360 watt max. You can use solar charging at 110 watt max and then the car charging port, which is 100 watt max. So it gives you multiple ways to charge this device and it's pretty exciting. It tells you all the indicators here for lights. It tells you what kind of battery, how long, and then it tells you specifications. So at the AC input, it's eight amps max. Uh, DC, eight amps max at 110 watts. AC output, which is 300, but with the surge total of 600 watts. DC output is 100 watts and then USB-A is 12 watts and USB-C output and input is 60 watt max. So lots of good stuff going on there. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. I have so much to learn from this device. I have so much videos to make on it as well. If you have any questions, any concerns, please leave it down in the comment box below. I would love to answer any questions. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel right here, right now. But until next time, I will see you in the next video about this device. Peace.